Hey everybody, it's James Freeman. For those of you who actually watched the video instead of going to the comments to ask questions that were already answered in the video, no, this is not my video. I'm sharing it from Cream City News. Keep in mind that the department he's dealing with here is the same department that tased a man to death in his shower. This video will start out with an officer immediately pointing a taser at someone, what appears to be for no reason. But make no mistake, the officer explains exactly why he's pointing his taser. While I've learned that this department doesn't care at all what the public thinks, I'm still going to leave contact information in the comments and description for you. While my regular audience will see for themselves exactly what's going on here, I am going to add some commentary for new viewers to help you understand what's really going on. Looks like they were chasing this guy. Where are you coming from, man? Huh? Where are you coming from? I don't answer questions. What's that? I don't answer questions. Oh, you're the recorder? This first few seconds tells a lot more about the story than most people might realize. Introductions are made, the cameraman knows that he's dealing with a cop, and so he's not going to answer questions, and the cop states that he knows he's dealing with the cameraman, so he knows exactly who this is. As a matter of fact, this cop and this cameraman saw each other just 10 minutes ago on another call. Notice that as the cop says, oh, you're the cameraman, he raises that light that you see. But that light is not just a flashlight. No, that flashlight is on the end of his taser. So he states, oh, you're the cameraman, and raises his taser to him. Oh, uh, you're the recorder? Oh, man, is that a taser? Let me get ID. Huh? Did you just flee from this car? No, I didn't just flee let, from it. Let me see some ID. For what, man? I didn't do Did anything. You had somebody come from that direction that fled from the car. All right, does it look like it was me showing up with a camera? I of course know. not. ID. ID no, please. I don't have an ID. I'm walking. What the fuck, man? You don't have ID. I'm have to detain you. Put your fucking thing down, man. Identification, sir. I don't have an ID. I'm in public. That's I don't nice. have an. You came from a closed business where somebody. No, I didn't. I walked right past McDonald's. I was right. looking for McDonald's. That's where they came from. Just show me ID, and you can. I don't have an ID, man. So he's claiming that he wants ID from the cameraman because the cameraman might be the guy who fled from this car. He's also claiming that the guy who fled went in the direction that the cameraman just came from. The radio traffic confirms that they don't know which direction the man fled, and they have zero description of the individual that fled. But we knew from the very beginning why this detention started and why the taser was pointed. Uh, you're the recorder? All right. I don't have an ID. If you want to violate my civil rights and look at my pockets, no. you go ahead. You go right ahead. Right now, can you put the taser down? Right can, you now? Put the, can you just put the taser down? Don't, don't you know I'm the camera guy. You know that. So well, stop. I don't know if you're part of this. Part of what? Whoa, whoa, weapons. whoa. What the fuck weapons. are you doing, man? You're violating my civil rights right now. You know that, right? You came What's from your name? Private property. Hold on. What's your name? I don't care if I came from private property. I'm this mother. Relax. Look at this guy. Relax. Look at this. Now he's telling him to relax while pointing a taser at him and feeling him up and down? Relaxing is a completely unnatural reaction to what this thug is doing. This guy, he's got his taser on me What's and he's name? patting me down. What's your name? I'm not giving you my fucking name. Give me right. your fucking name. What's your name? You just violated my civil rights. Relax. What's your name? Station, I'm out w with one. What's, What's your name? on the person that fled. Yeah, yeah, check. Do a little investigation first. They didn't have a description. It was too dark. Another piece of very important information. He never had a description of a suspect. He still doesn't have a description of a suspect. But let's reiterate again. We all know why he was stopped. Uh, you're the recorder? Let me get an ID. 10 -4. Then you're going to be t detained if you don't give me a name. Oh, oh, what's your name? All right. you what's your, what do you want, man? So Whoa. Just put it down. I don't want to break your camera. Put it down well, for What a are you doing here, just man? Put it here. You can, you can request all this information right now. Where are you? You're illegally detaining me, you know that, right? Relax, relax. I'm out with one. For what? What are you detaining me for? For what? Bye! For what? What are you detaining me for? I already dropped it, man. What are you detaining me for? I'm not resisting. I told you why. No, you didn't, because I came from a public place? You came from McDonald's. So what? That's the last location they called this person from. So what, man? You think I would come back? Bullshit, you know it's not me, you're trying to bullshit. You're violating my civil rights right now. You're violating my civil rights. What's your fucking name? 
If you guys want to watch the rest of this video, I'll put the link in the description to Cream City News. I'll tell you right now, the whole thing is disgusting. The cop never clearly identifies himself. The only thing we end up finding out is that he's a sergeant. I'm also leaving contact information for the police department in the description and pinned in the comments. I can already tell you right now, they don't care. I don't have the answer to all of this. I don't know what to do to fix it, but I'm just going to keep showing you that it's happening.